Now, before lunch, there's the prayer. After the introspection comes back. Introspection is when one feels that there are things that one can do better. And it is after amending, meaning after putting work to first uh, do what it is that one feels can do better in dynamic way and next moving backwards in retrospection to see is there any repairable or non-repairable harm that I regret in missing persons or losing personal respect. That is for one, it does not mean that one needs to pursue relationships and that is in Buddhism called breaking attachments. The prayer to say is as follows. All the harm I have done from times immemorial was caused and is by greed, anger and ignorance. Now I confess and amend it all. And that does not apply to sex. It does apply to sexual harassment, however. What is the difference? The difference is that the relationships that are not based on genuine love and desire to pursue to the best of interest and happiness of a person a relationship with that person are called unlawful and a lack of respect for those is called a transgression. Now, that does not mean do not divorce when you do not have enough of a basis to sustain wedding vows because commitment that is like being tied up for appearances to perform work based on basic instinct and love shared for others is in fact enslaving another person and is selfish. That is not the same as being single or deprived of a relationship. That only means do not do harm, harassing others in hatred or envy because of sexuality that is superior or because of children uh, while one does not desire or the other does not enable having this as sex. And so there are two types of transgression. One is omission of wanted sex, that wanting the other person is rejected as insignificant or immoral, harming person's reputation. And second one is asking for less than self and the other person has as maximum in being in love. Meaning that is a transgression to ask or insinuate to perform service when one has a chance to be happiest and when that is required from in an environment because of the delusion that uh, sex and work at the same time without a, a realization of non-possibility if there are time spaces is an obstacle to performing duties for instance it is an obstacle to chastise or castrate a person forcing to work and that person then refuses to work and that work is not slavery that work needs to be wanted that is a transgression to the enslaved person that is why that is also something to analyze and first for self-repent what it is that i regret i being i and what brings up anger meaning accused i say others do worse or I was not at fault. I was placed in circumstances in which I had no fault or I had no choice. In, and based on that, based on first name, second name and rank, we then face responsibility. Repairable ones, we repair and stop and ask for per, uh, permission to do so for self first. Because without the non-repairable, that is simply being a person who has responsibility instead of a group and belonging to such group is dishonored by others dishonored 
meaning then collective has bad reputation and is not trusted and that does then reflect badly on federal government and makes us all feel unsafe okay so now lunch uh, i will record lunch however remember placing persons into a situation in which a person is observed that needs to also be said that does create a distraction to own mind so who and why one in imprisons also to impede movement it has to be based on that person's need for repentance and that is not for one or no one else is to judge including self resigning from work sometimes is an act of having an honor that cannot be sustained in a given environment other times it is being forced to not face own responsibility and that requires knowing self and knowing when one has anger or sadness of being unfairly judged when one is inscribed as if a member of an uh, insignificant statue to a group that is facing responsibility without minding uh, the individual motivation intentions and outcomes consistency moral core and understanding of values which means knowledge base calling someone an ignorant is benevolent in a way because it is saying you do not know you didn't know what you were doing i forgive you more just don't hurt me more if you refuse to learn that i was or am hurt then you you may keep on doing the same and do not call harm what is for some the happiest there is no duality between good and evil it is to learn that 